A woman Amanda comes on the scene as the movie starts. She is building a suicide squad. But the mysterious fact is this, that she adjusts the bombs in their bodies. So the bombs may be exploded if they fled. There are also some animals-like creatures along with the human beings. And the major character of this movie is Harley Quinn. They reach an island and they begin to jump into water one by one. But the animal-like creature is unable to swim and it begins to move its hands and feet. Then a blonde-haired man savant goes there. And it brings it to the bank of the water with him while swimming. But that animal-like creature has died at that time. If it is discussed as with whom Suicide Squad was going to confront? So that was the dangerous military. This army is also approached here. So Blaggard begins to shout while raising his hands. The military which surrounded them. They fire on the face of Blaggard. As a result, his face skin is shed. And he falls their top CTV. Amanda keeps an eye on them. She orders them that Yui's skin is shed. And he falls their top CTV. Amanda keeps an eye on them. She orders them that you will not retreat no matter what happens. Getting the chance of it, Harley Quinn fires her gun on the military. Consequently, their many members are ended in this explosion. Now the real fight takes place here. When one team member of Suicide Squad throws a plate. So he decapitates a man at once. Being uncontrolled, military starts the indiscriminate firing. Harley Quinn begins to run, rescuing herself. And she hides behind a big rock, coming there. One more member of squad appears there. There is also another member named TDK before them. He throws his two arms to military after parting them, which start to divert the attention of army while moving their hats and guns. But it proves futile and Savant starts to fear. The same long-haired man. He thinks to escape from there. But Amanda blasts him before this. Because she has said that he will lose his life who attempts to escape. The story takes a turn here and Amanda's sharp thinking is also revealed that she had made ready the alternative squad. It is thought that she had knowledge, what is her first suicide squad going to act? First of all, she comprises in the squad a man Bloodsport, and she chose him as a captain. Second member is Peacemaker who has the ability that he can mold anything into the weapon, and he can attack while using it. And third one is King Shark, it has enough ability that it can chew any raw thing. It is like a shark not like human. There was also a girl Kazo who could hold sway over rats, Everyone possesses his own unique ability. Now Amanda starts to tell about the mission to squad. This island is dominated by a general. In the same way, he wants to dominate over America. He has also built a laboratory there for this task. You all have been chosen for this purpose, so that you may search out this laboratory and destroy it with general, going on that island. First of all, you all will have to capture his special man laboratory. And on the other side, Harley Quinn and Flag are rescued and they escape from there. But Harley is caught by the military while flagged by some of the inhabitants of Island. Now second team of Suicide Squad has also reached Island, but they think to have a rest there because of the night time. Suddenly, Bloodsport wakes up at night and notices that King Shark starts to eat that rat catcher girl as being hungry. But Bloodsport stops him shouting and also fires his gun on him. But he does not get any harm. Kazo calls the rats there. It does not impact on King Shark too much. But Bloodsport is under effect because he used to be afraid from the rats. Now Kazo is afraid that King Shark may not eat her again. So she explains it politely, going near it. Look, we are friends. We will carry out a mission perfectly. Then King Shark gets the point. But all other team members could not accept it their friend. Now Amanda contacts Suicide Squad. And she asks them to rescue Flag from the inhabitants of Islands of Island. They all start to move in that direction. King Shark eats a man, reaching there. A man of island comes before Peacemaker. He throws his hammer over him which strikes on his head directly. And his head begins to bleed much. Then Bloodsport makes Peacemaker catch the sword. Using it, Peacemaker slaughters a man. Bloodsport also begins to fire his gun. Another member Polka Todd starts to target the huts there, firing from his body. And Peacemaker enters while cutting the people's body with his sword. Then they come to know that island people did not keep Flag captive, they rather saved his life. The chief of that tribe talks to them, appearing there. She tells that she is also against the general, and she becomes to show her anger at them. That you killed my people without knowing anything. Flag says, let it go. What is the use of war if our mission is the same? They hardly convinces the tribe's chief. Contrarily, military had taken Harley to general, capturing her. 
He says, he says to Harley Quinn that I will get the seat of president if you marry me. Because Nation thinks that it is compulsory for me to be married. Then, we'll also dominate the state together. Harley is convinced in greed but she feels it soon, once she fires his gun on General's heart when she goes to meet him. Military again imprisons her. Here the good thing happens as, General is no more. He was fallen upside down and dies there. Afterwards, one more character comes on the scene named Matthew. Her also wanted to be a president. So he is extremely excited at the death of General. On the other side, Suicide Squad has reached the city. They all begin to tell their stories, traveling in the bus. How will we be the criminals? And they also tell the stories of their past. Their life of that time was very pathetic so they wished to do something in their life. Now they reach the club where they sing and dance. They rejoice a lot. There they notice a man, having the fixed small devices on his head. Military is also approached there. So Bl Bloodsport makes the device man out from the club silently with Kazo Polka Dot. And he confronts the military with Peacemaker. Their military and flag come to know that Harley is alive. So they attack the military. They push them with legs and also hits the military van window pan on their heads. As a result, bus glass is also damaged and military van is stopped. The military van is crashed with another car. It creates an explosion. The van driver was not on its place so the military van falls down. The strange fact is this, Bloodsport, Peacemaker and Flag get off without any harm. Now they decide to rescue Harley. Harley was now in the imprisonment of Matthew. Matthew had captured her, tying her hands upside. He tortures her due to this her mouth begins to bleed. He asks about her past and who are after them. She does not reveal a single fact so Matthew's man starts to give her electric shocks. Harley is knocked out but she was pretending. Harley fractures the Matthew's man neck while kicking as Matthew, as Matthew goes outside. She takes the keys from him and unlocks her chains with the help of her feet. Many people stop her as she comes outside. First of all, Harley kills both of them then she, she starts to shoot others, holding guns in her both hands. Then she continues to cross that place with Rod while jumping and hitting the people. At last, she comes out of the building. And she notices all three who had come there to rescue her. Harley embraces Flag. Now they all are united. They move to that laboratory. The rain starts there. Now they all begin to battle according to their planned mission. They fire their guns in the necks of the people of that place. King Shark dismembers a man. And the blood of many soldiers start flowing here. Other military also appears from the backside. And Matthew is also alert. Suicide Squad locks the door of the laboratory, moving inside. Now Kazo moves into the laboratory. She glimpses their many type of the creatures. Which try to talk with her. She also notices there. Which are looking very threatening. Now that device man tells them here, this starfish was the flop project of our own country. Then it was sent to laboratory for unlawful project. Amanda knew about it but she wanted to tackle it. So our country reputation may remain secured. Flag steals the hard drive, having information. But Peekmooker points his gun on him. Before he gets courage to say harm him, the laboratory is destroyed due to the attack of the military outside. And the chamber of starfish is also damaged. So it frees, at first, it pulls the body of that device man, catching his hands and feet. Consequently, his body is dismembered. Then Peekmaker kicks in the stomach of Flag, so that he may return the hard drive. Because it has been ordered to Peekmaker to do it by Amanda. He throws him towards an object while lifting him up. Then Flag also begins to hit Peekmaker, lifting an object made of steel. His mouth starts to bleed much. Before that Flag may kill Peace, Peekmaker stabs in his body. So Kazo picks up the dropped hard drive, getting benefit of it, which had information. But Peekmaker also asks her to return it, pointing the gun. On the other side, Shark is shown, which falls outside of the building because of its overflowing of water. There is military before it. Here Bloodsport is also going to fall down from the building, but Harley pulls her upward, catching his hand. Military starts to fire on King Shark from downward. But it was very powerful. And it begins to eat the military, rising up. Laboratory begins to destroy because of being damaged. And it is now building falls on King Shark. Harley and Polka Dot stand at a place, coming there. While Bloodsport moves down because his rope is loosened. And it is the same scene where Peacemaker had pointed his gun on Kezo. Bloodsport appears before him. Peacemaker fires his gun on Bloodsport and he also immediately fires his gun. So Bloodsport's gun bullet reaches Peachmaker, piercing his bullet. 
and it directly targets his body and he is ended. Now Kazo reveals everything to Bloodsport while crying. How are starfish bringing devastation? They also give the hard drive to Bloodsport. Now King Shark joins them and enters, eating the head of a man. It has not received harm in spite of this hard attack. Then the military of Methuelso appears there. They prepare their guns. They are ending Suicide Squad. Before it, Starfish appears, damaging the building. It was giant. Military starts to fire in that Starfish. But that Starfish breeds its babies. They start to attack the military. But to attack the military. But they don't harm Suicide Squad. But the military soldiers on whom Starfish babies had fallen, they change their body into the monster. And they start to devastate, following the Starfish. Then Amanda orders them that they may return if they have destroyed the lab. How could Suicide Squad see their country under threats? So they start the war with the Starfish. But Amanda threatens them, I will blast you. But a girl of Amanda's office hits her with a row. Because she had also fed up from her threats. So Suicide Squad moves to kill the Starfish. And all are complimenting them. They begin to fire on it. And King Shark starts to eat its flesh, moving on it. It bites it many times. Kazo also goes to end Starfish. But she notices that Starfish is proceeding to kill her. Then Bloodsport comes with long jumping. He descends, taking Kazo with him. Harley stabs her rod into the eye of Starfish while jumping highly. Starfish falls on the building upside down as being wounded badly. Above all, Kazo had ended Starfish there, calling a number of rats. After this, Bloodsport intimidates Amanda saying we have the whole data. Release us. Amanda has to do it. Then they fly in the helicopter after being released from there. On the other side Peacemaker is also seen in the hospital. Who is alive? And he was being treated by the doctors. And the movie completes on this scene.